In this episode of the Collector's Review, we get up close with the Predator 2 Ultimate Boar Predator by NECA. This action figure is one to see, so let's get to it. And in this episode, Predator 2, the Ultimate Boar Predator NECA action figure just released. I've been uh, wanting to do the Ultimate Shaman Predator 2. I just haven't got my hands on it. Got him all even right here. But this is the 30th anniversary collection. So I wanted to do the unboxing of this one. I got a few Predator action figure unboxings that I want to do. 30th anniversary. Like always like, share, and subscribe. Hit that little subscribe button. Follow me on those social media. It's gonna try producing more stuff for you guys as much as possible. Let's get up close with this action figure right here. Um, like always I say, I love the box. The, the box that I've been loving, they've been really knocking it out with the artwork. I like the artwork. Tell me what you guys think. Do you guys like this, this type of artwork? Or are you guys for more of the plastic clamshell? I love the uh, ultimate figures. Let's open them up, see what he looks like right here. And there we go. And I love how this uh, setup is. Pretty nice how they have it set up now. And the box just looks real clean to me. So far, I don't think I've seen a fake version of this because I was going to do a fake versus real maybe on this one because I spoke with NECA about some things about uh, bootlegs or whatnot and uh, everything. So, But this figure right here looks very slick, man. I love, love how it looks on the inside, especially the the head right there and I know I got a lot of opened uh, Predator action figures maybe I'll show you guys them sometime but let's get to unboxing this one and see what this one looks like up close just move the box out the way and look at that bad boy right there let's get up close with them real quick so loving how he looks Comes with the skull. But I just put him in this stand real quick. This chair, dethrone. Take you guys up close with him. Let's get to it. All right, let's get up close with him. That's what he looks like standing. All the accessories. So far, I like the look. The cannon. At first I was having issues with the cannon because I didn't know how to put it on. But it went on the back. I was always used to it going on the shoulder. So let's get up close with him and see how it looks. Alright. Loving the detail. So here goes the for the cannon. It goes on his back, attaches pretty good. Attaches like that. I was trying to do it like this. That's how I thought it went. Because the, the cannon turns around and goes like that. So I thought, I thought it went like that. And there goes the blast. But that's okay. Let me put the blast over here. So this pops up, spins around like that and actually attaches real real good to it so like that put it down pretty nice that's him at the side both arms open up let me close this real quick show you that Oh, that opens up like that, sorry. And then closes that way. Same thing here. Um, now my opinion, I don't like it as much, but, uh, oh, sorry, this piece fell off. And which that does do. So this piece comes off here, and this piece comes off here. What I don't like is this opens up, that's slick. Um, this one, I don't know, just the way it opens up, I guess if you 
So he has to spin his arm like that to get it. It feels like this should be spinned around just like this one is. Because then you have the blade that pops off there at the side. And they had the little two replacement pieces. That's what these are. To go on there. Put these over here. To go on there. But, I don't know. It just looking like that. Looks kind of weird to me. Um, then I put his blade in there. And that was a hard thing to do because this is like a rubber. So when I shoved it in there, you ha I had to lift the lip and put it in there. And I don't feel like taking it out because it was a lot of work. <laughs> so um, let's get to the articulation. Close these up. And uh, like always, um, I haven't been heating them up. I want you guys to see what it's like freshly out the package. Just came out the package and this is going to be my first time moving around and NECA hasn't been breaking it on me lately so that's been real nice. I know I had a string of ones with the old old predators but you're going to have that. You got to heat those. I do highly recommend you heating up the old figures if you're old, opening any of the older ones. And right now I'm just trying to be as gentle as possible but because of the armor you see right there it doesn't go that far arms are out let's bend the elbow elbow bends nicely wrist moves around nicely so there's his bent let's see if he can move so he can touch his face so arm moves around real nice that looks a little flimsy in there I feel like it could break depending on how you move it but you gotta <clears throat> sorry be real gentle with it so this elbow moves too I mean of course it does but it moves well too and his arm moves real nice I like the joints on it there's no paint there's no paint falling on my table yet legs out like usual, he can do the splits pretty well. Knee bent. Bent back all the way. Can touch his back. So I do like the flexibility. And that popped out, see? So that is hard to get in there. Maybe a little bit easier since I... But you see how you gotta shove it in there. Or it's not gonna go. At least I unless I'm doing it wrong <laughs> but uh, I do like the detail in it so he moves around the articulation is real nice on him and like I said this goes up pops around the blast goes on there real nice well from when I did it I think you gotta do it a certain way or it just sits on there so sits on there like that. Move that. Oh, and that popped out. I don't know how much that happens. But again, be gentle with it. So popped right back in there though. Goes on his back. Let's see how easy it is to change his head out. There we go. Pop the head out. Get the other one on there. Let's look at this head. So, very slick. Move the hair around a little bit. So, look at his face. Look at that gruesome. So very slick. See how he stands. the accessories let's look at his staff very slick staff I don't know if that bend is supposed to be in there where it bends and it goes up a little bit it's just not straight now shoot in the comments if it's supposed to be like that or if it's just mine then you got it closed up I like the detail a lot They've been really hitting with the detail. Here goes 
this one this is open and that's the throw uh, the, the open throwing disc on the back and the other one is right here so it closed and it opened detail looks beautiful on them to me really slick it goes down there then he comes with a human skull that I just dropped but right as I pick it up you should subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet hit that subscribe button so you don't forget and hit that ring button too because if you hit that ring button then it'll tell you and alert you when I'm gonna be doing videos so then it comes with different sets of hands this is the this hand right here is the one that it was on him and I switched it out for uh, the one that holds the staff that's kinda like this and then these top pieces go on his wrist but I don't know I don't tell me what you guys think in the comments I don't so this pops out right there and I guess this is supposed to go like that I think All right so that was supposed to go guys and this one does it too but like I said so let's put a mouth on and see so you see what I'm so let's open them open them and you see right there so if it's opened opened this is sitting down at the bottom at the side like I guess if you can type on here but this is down by his waist this should be on the other side and this should be turned around at least a little bit but I don't know if it's supposed to be like that or if that's just a defect but till next time it was another episode of the collector's review and I'm gonna be doing the up close with them the whole 360 so make sure you guys stick around for that and I'm gonna be showing you guys in this chair again and I'm gonna be dropping some of those on eBay and my website for you guys to purchase so like always like share and subscribe hit the website up hit the social medias we out peace